Welcome back to Portland today. Let's take a look at some of the most stunning modern homes in the Portland area. A half dozen will be featured on a tour this Saturday featuring homes in Lake Oswego, Raleigh Hills, Roseway, and East Portland. It's a chance to meet the minds behind some of these impressive designs. And Tracy Berry said that sounds like a good <laughs> idea. That's what she's doing this afternoon. She's joining us uh, live with the uh, Mount Tabor neighborhood. Must be impressive to see, Tracy. You know, it's just gorgeous. And even though this is a brand new modern home, it was designed so that it wouldn't stick out like a sore thumb in the neighborhood. And they've done such a beautiful job. Many of the other homes in this area are, you know, like a hundred years old. They're still putting some of the finishing touches on coming up. I'm afraid if we stay too long, we'll be working on the landscaping. But if you walk to buy this house in the neighborhood, you might wonder, gosh, that is so neat, but I wonder what it looks like inside. Side, I say let's find out we're gonna duck in through the front door and right away you can see all the beautiful use of wood throughout this home which uh, only makes sense since the area is just surrounded by such tall trees and this home was designed by Drew Hastings of Raphael Design thanks for letting us into your house because sure that is the added pressure this is actually your home it is. So what are some of the things that you guys thought about as you decided to design this and live in it? Right. So um, we were sort of constrained by the site. The lot is a little bit smaller than your typical site in this area. Um, so that forced us to do a smaller footprint. Um, so we had to be efficient with our use of space. So in this room that we're in right now, we've combined living, dining, and kitchen into one zone, um, which is sort of a a departure from what you see in these houses next door to us where each living room and kitchen was its own. I'm kind of chopped up in some of the older yeah. houses. So it's kind of, it's a, it's a new cu culture we have and a new architecture to fit it. Um, so therefore, you know, with that smaller lot size, we had fun with some of the detailing. Um, so uh, our company, Raphael Design, um, we have carpenters that do finish work is also in framing as well. So I mean, the wood in here is beautiful and it, and it does sort of the inside reflects the outside. Yes, yes. And your window use is incredible. And one thing you told me that you did, Rod, I don't know if you can come and peek out here, but they didn't build a garage on purpose. Why? You have a carport. We have a carport. Um, because of the narrow lot and the narrow house, we wanted to bring in as much light as possible and celebrate these tr tall trees that are amongst us. So um, with these windows and this carport, we're able to do that. It is so pretty, and another way they brought in light is if we head down the hall a little bit this way and take a peek at their stairs and then look up, you have something you call ribbon skylights. Yeah, uh, we were able to fit that into the, the roof framing, and that just allowed us to bring more light into this house. And also, you can see those tall trees that Rod's pointing his camera at right now. Yeah, it's gorgeous the way that works. Okay, I have to ask you because sometimes think that modern design is not warm, and yet I would say this is beautiful, warm, and welcoming, but I have to ask you, is it kid-friendly? I know you have a six-month-old. Yes, that's right. He's, uh, he's having a good time in this house, all the, the space to roam around. Um, but it, yeah, it's, it is modern, but it is warm too. So it features a lot of wood, and in the Mount Tabor area, we, you know, Feel like that was appropriate to the right material to use and even though you're we're using clean lines in a more modern way it does have this sort of craftsman um, sensibility to it um, definitely so it's, so it's a new yeah. kind of new way of doing a craftsman and house. you guys it's accessible it's 2100 square feet it's kind of an infill design on right. a smaller lot so it seems like it's doable all right there are other homes besides this on the tour isn't it fun to go into somebody's house and see it it's so gorgeous i want to give you some information on the modern home tour coming up this weekend june 2nd it runs from 11 a.m to 5 p.m there are seven homes to see, plus there's a big party afterwards in Canby. And they also support the Architecture Club at Portland Community College with some of the funds for this, which is nice. You can find everything you need to know about this at portlandmodernhometour.com. Thanks for letting us see your gorgeous house. Thanks, Tracy. Back to you guys. Beautiful, Tracy. I find when you're doing a live television show, it's so important to be comfortable.